It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, we have something here that's very legendary, stately, sought after, familiar. allocated, familiar. What is it? It's Elmer T. Lee. <laughs> So this has been in our lives for a while. This was actually one of the first uh, purchases that I made back when you could walk into a store and <laughs> find one on the shelf um, oh. on like a Tuesday, which you may still be able to do that in your area now, but I think I got it for like $40. Yeah, $39.99. Um, $39.99. For the longest time. And I, this must have been 2014, 2015, around that time. Uh, I was like, ooh, I will try you. <laughs> Pause for cork pop before I knock it over, jeez. Show him some respect. Sorry. Respectable cork pop from Mr. Lee. So as we know, this is named after Elmer T. Lee, a legendary master distiller at Buffalo Trace. I believe he was there for 36 years, uh, retired in 1985. This is a 90 proof single barrel bourbon, uh, mash bill number two. Mash bill number two, so a little higher rye, uh, 12 to 15% rye. Right. No age statement on here, but um, apparently Harlan has said in the past that they won't consider uh, bottling Elmer until it's at least nine years old. They're really going more for the profile than the age statement though. Mm -hmm. So they're never gonna lock down an age. Um, it could be nine years. Uh, they've done ones um, as high as 15 for single barrel picks, so you could get uh, I think oh. like the average is like 12 years. I was just thinking an Elmer T. Lee single barrel pick. I remember those. Right? Can you remember back that far? Man. I mean, it wasn't that far long ago. Oh. Um, Harlan, by the way, Harlan Wheatley, he's the master stiller at, at Buffalo Trace for, for those who are unfamiliar. Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, We're on a first name basis. So. That's right. No, I'm just you, kidding. You he doesn't even know me. Now, if you want to know kind of more about Elmer T. Lee, you can actually, in, a, in a, a roundabout way, learn about him from our Five Things You Didn't Know About Blanton's episode. That's right. Which we'll link up here or something. Somewhere. Um, yeah, because, you know, uh, he trained under Albert Blanton, so that's that's the connection. But yeah, so this is part of their single barrel lineup, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And what else is in there? You got Blanton's, you have this, uh, this you have Rock Hill Farms, mm -hmm. and you have Hancock's Presidential or President's Presidential Reserve. I always forget if it's Presidential or President's right, Reserve. Right, I know, right? Because there's other Hard ones. There's the Old Forester the Presidential. The President's Choice. President's Choice. And then there's Jefferson's Presidential. <laughs> there's a bunch of Presidents. So forgive me for forgetting momentarily. But we got those four. I gotta be honest with you, historically, in that lineup, this mm. hasn't always fared well for me, but us talking about it more today, I'm like, well, maybe it's the single, I mean, they're all single barrels. They, so they are it, all it single could be barrels. just about whichever one you've got, so. We don't have the opportunity to buy Elmer all the time, so mm -hmm. I would say this is probably around 2018, 2019 at the oldest. Okay, so when we've, we got this. we've had this one for a little bit. For a little bit. Been hanging on to it. Berries. Yeah, that's fruit. what I was gonna say. Like, um, it's more, not a dark, I think, like more of like strawberry. Mm-hmm. And a nice, really light um, caramel. Yeah. Yeah, ripe, ripe berries. Ripe that's berries. what I'm getting. Delicate caramel vanilla, real easy. Good nose, good nose. It's nice, yeah. It's, nice. Little, it's got a little sh sugary, but in uh, not an overly sweet, but just like mm -hmm. dusted with sugar. Like the man himself. Like uh, the man uh, himself. We're told. Just dusted with sugar. Mmm. <laughs> Still sweet. Yes. Up front, but nice, real easy, laid back. Again, caramel vanilla tones, but an, a, you get that char. You do. On the finish, and I think that it's kind of a nice little lull of mm. um, flavors and washes over your tongue. I feel like that would come from the age. I think so too. Uh, like a raspberry tea mm. is kind of, or, or, or some type of, maybe it's a hybrid of a, like a peach kind of in mm -hmm. there. There's definitely, uh, I think that the age kind of getting towards that area where you would get like a tobacco leaf mm -hmm. note or maybe some leather notes. Uh, I think that's kind of where that tea is coming from, but also that fruit that we got on the nose is in there. Mm -hmm. For 90 proofer, it's doing a pretty good job. Very smooth. I, I notice you. Uh, I as, always, as, you as do, I do. Go ahead and you've already taken your second sip well, for me. While you're talking, I'm thinking. Well, there you go. It's still kind of uh, setting. I haven't really gotten what I would say is the Kentucky hug. It's yeah. still kind of, but it is hanging on. It is still, uh, I'm still experiencing the finish of this mm -hmm. bourbon, but it's more. Uh, up in my throat. Yeah, I'm with you though on the 
the finish for me has got a nice level of char to it, but I get that herbal, earthy tea thing kind yeah. of going on at the finish. Mm -hmm. Earthy is not historically my favorite thing to taste. <laughs> Depends on the um, type of earth. But this is really gentle, I think. But yeah, I would say herbaceous. Sure. Even smooth, just just pretty easy sipper. Okay, you're nice little warmth. You're. <laughs> I'm what? You're gonna mm, you're gonna shake your head here, but probably bacon grease, like bacon, cooked bacon. I got it there on that second sip, just going down the throat. It was like, okay, go ahead, go ahead. No, I didn't say anything. Go ahead, say you're crazy. I don't get that at all. It's not so much a flavor note as a, a, a memory, a sense memory. Just like you can, s you can smell specifically the grease after the bacon's cooked and you're like draining the grease and you kind of, by the smell, think of what that would taste like. I know that sounds gross, but if you were to drink that, Grease. I kind of got that feeling as it went down. I'm like, what is this savory? Bacon. Bacon. Uh, I see where you're coming from. Okay, I'm, I'll take it. I see where you're coming I'll from. I'll take it. I'm happy with that. And coincidentally, um, this man's uh, mentor. Bacon. Albert Benton. Bleh, Albert Bacon Blanton. There you go. Also, maybe that's maybe that has something to do with that it. Has Some subliminal. Do with it. I don't know. Why. That, I think that it might be. Hmm. I think I think we should go ahead and let this just sit in the glass for yeah. for a little bit. You know, we've had a couple sips each. I have. Um, I it's like it to, easy. It's so easy. Yes, I like to see. I know. It's just like before if, we know, we're like, oh, you didn't stop we're, me. We're I'd out. be like, oh, gotta get some more. I like to see how this opens up in the glass with You're about right. 10 minutes or so. Um, so we'll wait for that. But why we'll do that, perfect time to mention whiskeyambitions.com. It's our home on the internet. That's where you can get, hey, look, it's the Bolt Tee. It's back it's and better than back before. back in stock. It's on a different t-shirt. The colors are popping. It's new and improved. New and improved. We have other new t-shirts. Uh, we have glassware like our water glasses, our Glen Cairns that we're drinking from, rocks glasses, challenge coins, challenge coins. All those things. And more, always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. We're going to do an after this episode, another round with Chad and Sarah that's for patrons exclusively. Uh, we put out polls. For example, the poll to do this video next also came from Patreon. <laughs> that's right. And you know, we do first crack at events and barrel picks and more. Yep. So sign up. Okay. We'll be back in about 10. And we're back from our break. So this has been sitting for about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Opened up a little. I actually get a very faint cinnamon on the nose now. I'm kind of getting that too, a little brown sugar. Yeah, but I still get a little bit of that. Like it's almost like strawberry jam or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that like fruitiness. Mm. Yeah, but it's like super sweet. I don't know, I like it. It's nice. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, it's gotten more spicy. It's like, gotten a little, just a little more spicy, yeah. Um, I still get that earthy note right there yeah. at the end. Mm -hmm. It's like, I really, personally, I really enjoy it. And then I hit that earthy mm -hmm. note and that's where I'm kind of like, mm, could do without that. I, I think it's... But that's just me. I'm just not into earthy or licorice. So if you know me, then you know that. Now it's leaning more, um, uh, to ba actually tobacco. Tobacco. Yeah. 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 So I think this does have some, some pretty good age on it. You know, sure. it's not like, um, Blanton's that's usually around six years, seven mm -hmm. years. Um, this they they give us give it give it some time. Yeah, I like it. I like I mean, it too. I I I love acting like this is my first time having Elmer, but honestly, <laughs> it's been a minute. It, it's been a long time. Yeah, it's not something that I reach for very often, just because of honestly, at this point, it's the proof, um, and it's not available, so it's not something that I consider drinking very often. If I'm gonna go ninety proof, I might be grabbing a Eagle Rare or sure. a Buffalo Trace. Right, exactly. Or yeah. even a Weller Special Reserve, like if we right. have those around. Because um, those you can get. Because those you can get more e easily. This mm -hmm. is harder to track down. It's a little lower than the proof point we normally drink at, so it's just not something we reach for very often. So yeah. I feel like I'm almost tasting this for the first time again. It's been so long. With new eyes. With new eyes. New, new taste buds. But no, I, like you said before, I remember when you could walk into the store and always there, and I'm like, one day, you know, that's back when I would try to get like a new bourbon every month or mm -hmm. a couple bourbons every month that were new. And I'm like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do that. And then one trip, it was finally the time and I got it. And it seems like after that, not long after that, not long, they disappeared. Mm -hmm. And it was the same thing with Stag Jr. Too. I well, I remember when he passed away mm -hmm. and then 
kind of hearing like... I think it was 2016, if I might be incorrect about that. Okay, if it's not, we'll flash it up on the screen. Okay, please when, do. When, when, when he I, actually passed away. I have away. a vague memory, but I don't know if that's true. I remember people saying like, oh yeah, that Elmer T. Lee's gonna fly off the shelf now that he's gone, but he hadn't been involved with it for, for years. Right, I mean, he well, was like a very I old man. he retired in 85. He retired, he would, he would still come in after that to kind of do some things, but I mean, it's still been years since he had really put his thumbprint on it. But you know, he, he passed away and then the popularity just skyrocketed and then they're gone and now they're allocated and they're like it's raffle. Raffle, yeah, or stand in line. You see them for two hundred dollars at places. Three hundred. Uh, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. Well, and I don't know if it was because of you know his passing that the popularity, like that it was just became so scarce, or I mean at the same time Buffalo Trace as a whole the was becoming boom. yeah more difficult to find almost all Buffalo Trace products that are not Buffalo Trace, and even mm -hmm. now I mean sometimes Eagle Rare, yeah, anything from there up was becoming more difficult to find. So Even Buffalo Trace with some people. TBD on what that exact cause was, but um, yeah, sort of same time. Mm -hmm. But we got to treat it as if, you know, it's retail. And I think the retail probably is still around 45. I remember the last time I saw it in a raffle was probably two years ago and it was 39.99 then. So unless it's taken a big jump since then, I, I would call it around 45. Okay. Just, just to be safe. But for $45, let's say, 90 proof single barrel, mm -hmm. um, just going on taste alone, taking the the legendary status out of it, the, the mythos and everything, it's still really solid. I really enjoy it. I think it drinks a little bit higher than it's proof. Um, the, the earthy notes that you're talking about, I don't mind. I'm kind of appreciating those. Mm -hmm. I would give it a recommend. I agree with that caveat, hmm. only if you can find it at retail. For me, this is, or if you're just super passionate about Buffalo Trace products, then what you do with your money is up to you. Uh, it's up to you no matter what. But I personally would not pay anything over retail for this. If we were in line to get any type of release and they ran out of everything else, but there were still Elmer T. Lee's at the end and they were $39.99, I would buy one for sure. Yes. Um, I would not spend $200 on the secondary. I would not spend no. $100 on the secondary. I'm uh, probably not. If it was over $60, I would be like, mm, <laughs> Of course, we're speaking not. as two people who have another bottle that's unopened. Correct. Um, so there is some comfort in that, There I is guess. some comfort. But right. like, I have, a, I have a, uh, a friend who, this is his white whale. He's like, oh, right. one, one day I hope to own a bottle of El Elmer T. Lee. Putting myself in his shoes, if I never had one and I saw one for $100, I would probably pay it. That's what I said. If you're like really after this, then you do what you want with your money. Yeah. <laughs> like I can't tell you what to do. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. All I'm saying was rewind to 2015, the first time I picked up this bottle. Mm. If I could take the knowledge that I have now, even back to then and buy up as many as I wanted, I still wouldn't pay more than like $40 no, yeah. for it. Yeah. Um, it's good. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. It's good quality stuff, I just think. There's a lot of options out there to spend your money on. Absolutely. And for me, the earthy note makes it just, and the 90 proof, it just makes it not something I want to spend over $40 on. Absolutely. So. Yeah, no, it is it it is solid. It's named after a great man. And yeah, it's recommend. Yeah, I agree. Retail. Re re recommend for retail. Well, very good. Um, hey. That was a lot. <laughs> it was. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already and like to do so, we'd love to have you. You can click right up here to do that. There's also suggestions of other videos. We hope to see you over there in those. We do. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Until next time, drink more bourbon. But I'm out.